What is up, Sideways Fam? We're back again today with another video. And today is gonna be pretty freaking cool because we got the super ugly blue Mark III Supra from our buddy Sage in the shop. Apparently, he stayed all night to pull an all-nighter to get this thing done. Um, he's been spending the last couple days sanding the car. Yesterday, I went ahead and did some uh, body work. There was a big old dent in the quarter panel, uh, big old dents in the hood. Went ahead and took all that stuff for him uh, while he was helping me work on one of the other homies' cars. And uh, yeah, so basically i'm hoping i'm gonna pull up to work today and uh, i'm hoping that he's gotten it all done and that it's gonna be all ready to go for painting this morning i'm not sure what the condition is uh of what's going on i don't really know i only have realistically today i only have about four hours to get this done it's about 7 30 i gotta be out of here by 11 11 30 8 9 10 11 so four hours maximum as of now to get this car painted for him. And then he can deal with assembling it and putting it together and hanging out at the shop and I don't really care. But trying to get the car ready for Toyota Fest. So, which is on Saturday morning at like 6 a.m. in the morning, we gotta get out of here and start heading over there to get it ready for the event. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I only have a few hours today. Hopefully we can get it done. If not, we're gonna need press for time tomorrow. So let me jump right into it right now and I guess let's just see what the condition is. So I guess this is about as good as it's gonna get for us to start spraying. Uh, we had an issue with my tank. We had to get into some new regulators and stuff. I already got the got the clear coat. I'm gonna go inside and get everything done. Obviously, all the cars that are out here are all scrapper cars that we don't really care about. All the nice cars are inside. We're gonna go ahead and seal up the the booth um, and the door so nothing gets inside of the shop. You know, because we do care about our, our customers. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up right now. Um, obviously, you guys. You know, don't knock me for this not being an, and done in like a proper booth. I mean, we, we work with what we have. Um, and generally the turnout's pretty good. So, I mean, <clears throat> the expectation is set pretty high. I guess we'll see how it comes out. Obviously I didn't primer the whole car. We just bought primer over the bodywork, and we are using a high solid paint. So when it comes down to getting uh, everything done, it should have pretty decent coverage. So my gun's already all set up right here at the regulator. This is an Anis Awada uh, W400. It's like my favorite gun I've ever used. So let's see how it turns out. All right, guys, so this is our base coat. So for any two-stage paint, you're gonna have a base coat clear coat. For anybody who didn't already know that, I mean, it's just a little bit of knowledge. I do not have a paint coat for this, which is what I was trying to see if I could show you guys, but I've already went ahead and reduced this down 50-50 uh, mix on this. It's kind of uh, like a mustardy yellow. Uh, apparently it's from like the old CRX SI kind of hard to see in here but this is going to be going in my gun right here i guess we're kind of lucky for the fact that today happened because sage got to go ahead and get my gun absolutely absolutely spotless uh inside and on the outside at least for now so that's pretty cool so i'm going to go ahead and get in there right now close this up and start shooting So base coat's done. We had a few reactions in the paint. Uh, so I had to go back and basically hit it uh, to get it all down where it was all gonna be rough. And I mean, obviously painting outside and for some reason somebody went ahead and uh, wiped the car down with like a standard rag instead of a microfiber. 
so there was a bunch of junk in the paint so basically i had to go back and re-sand everything that had crap in it uh tack cloth it all up and then yeah so this is all we have left about 37 ounces of paint i gotta go back and just hit the spots that we hit real quick coverage wise everything is pretty good we gotta go ahead and uh, mix the clear coat and get that done almost immediately because the temperature is starting to go come down right now too as well i got gotta paint one molding as well but uh that's pretty much it guys i mean it looks really really good um can't wait to put the clear on so it can look even better so let's get it done okay guys so i just mixed up the clear coat right now uh four to one parts so we're gonna put the first part down hopefully get two or three coats down on this thing it looks all pretty good i am uh, ready to go so let's do it killer job looks so beautiful thank you rob you're the best he's killing it right now look how beautiful this is look at that that's crazy it's so nice i can't believe it I'm absolutely in love. This guy right here. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. All right, guys. Some nice gloss on this thing. Looks super, super awesome. Pretty decent coverage for what it is. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments for some backyard, backyard special paint jobs. Look at the gloss on that shit, dude. Dang, bro. All I can say is it's become the banana. She has become the banana. All right, guys. Well, I'm tired. I hope you guys are ready for this. I think this thing looks fucking dope as hell. It looks like some crazy, like, little garage shit that's going on in Japan from, like, by Up Garage and, like, at the drift track. So check it out, guys. <whistles> Dang, bro. Hee hee. Damn. Stunting on some motherfuckers. Practice makes perfect, people.
guys well this is gonna go ahead and conclude the video i'm going home i'm tired i'm dirty i need to shower this thing came out fucking amazing uh cannot wait to get some sideways stickers on it get the rest of the moldings on it and see what everybody thinks at the show i do think he should raise the car about an inch in the front and the rear though in my opinion but he probably won't do it anyways because he's just a fucking idiot so uh <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I don't paint very many cars. I don't really like to paint cars anymore. It was more a thing I did when the business wasn't kicking and I kind of learned from one of my good friends who's now pretty famous uh, for painting. So finished product, what do you guys think? Until next time guys, peace. <laughs>